With this video, uh, we're looking at PowerPoint and specifically the browser-based version of Office 365. So this is the browser-based version of PowerPoint. First thing, you can go through five top tips for making most of PowerPoint. So the first one's an easy one, a really quick one, one that's been available on other platforms such as Google Slides for a while, and that is that allows you to hide slides. So you can hide slides that you don't want to present. This is great if you've got a presentation that you've created for multiple cohorts of students. Instead of having to make duplicates, you can just hide the slides that aren't appropriate to that presentation. It's very straightforward. You select the slide and you can either make it visible or invisible when you come to the present feature. So that's the first tip. Tip number two, if we go to the design feature, the design tab, sorry, and then we're gonna insert a new slide so choose one of the templates, and this works best if you just choose a basic template. Put in your details. And then click on the design tab, click on the designer tab, and it brings up various layouts and formats that may suit you and really quick way of getting a really slick looking presentation great tip for students and staff it's very easy to get distracted by looking at spending lots of time making your powerpoint look good when you really should be focusing on what you're saying so that's the first one use the design feature the next one we come to the slideshow tab and it's the rehearse with coach it's very easy to talk to quickly or to read off slides so the rehearse with coach feature gives you lots of feedback so you need to have a microphone attached to your device. You click Start Rehearsing, and as you talk through the slide and progress through your presentation, it's going to give you feedback. So I've got this slide here, and on this slide, there's various information, and you can see I can click through as I go. And when I'm finished my presentation, I can press Escape, and it will give me feedback. So it gives me feedback. So you can see, I've got a summary, got something on originality so if I start reading my slides it's going to tell me if I say anything inappropriate it'll talk tell me as well with sensitive phrases words per minute pace is just right it says average pace over time and then pitch and you can see it's giving me feedback there so it's a really useful report great for you great for your students so that's the rehearse with coach feature the next feature is the subtitle feature so you can set the language of your subtitles, the language you're speaking and the language of the subtitles. So you can translate automatically if you want. You can also choose the position of your subtitles. And then when we go to present, as long as you've got a microphone attached, what it should do is bring up your subtitles. You can see there they are, it's bringing up my subtitles. So that's using the subtitle feature. So we just escape that for the moment and escape again. So the next one is the present live feature. This is relatively new to the browser-based version. And present live feature allows your students to scan a code or click on the link and see your presentation on their device. They can go back and look at previous slides. They can't advance beyond where you are, but they can look at previous slides and they can also get subtitles on their device, which is really nice. And they can provide you with feedback. So they can give you scores for the appearance of your slides. They can also, give you feedback in the, in the form of a statement, which is orculated and appears on Microsoft Forms. So that's the present live feature. So if I press escape again, there we go. So we've covered the present live feature. We've looked at the use, make, making use of subtitles. We've used the Rehearse with Coach feature and we use the Hide Slide feature. So great features, all available in PowerPoint. They're my top five. Hope you found the video useful. Thanks for watching and join me again soon for more EdTech videos.